Week 13 of the high school football season kicks off in mere moments. Championship action on a Thursday as top seed in Southern Lehigh battles number three Bethlehem Catholic. The 4A finale appropriately yielding our fourth district football champion to be crowned this fall after Tri-Valley, Northwestern Lehigh, and East Stroudsburg South were all victorious in the single A, 3A, and 5A fields last week. The final two gold medalists will be decided on Friday. Schuylkill Haven and Williams Valley duking it out in the 2A bracket, while the granddaddy of them all features Parkland and Emmaus, the last two left standing in 6A, which is where we begin this week's edition of Top Plays and Prime Time Performers. Let's start with the Parkland Trojans, who are back in the District 6A Championship for the third straight season and 16th time in program history. The fellas from Moorfield back in the finale after senior quarterback Asmani Guzman turned in one of the best performances of his Parkland career, finishing 14 of 19 passing for 153 yards and two touchdowns as the Trojans took down second seeded Freedom 24 to 21. Guzman opened the scoring with a 14 yard pitch and catch to TJ Lawrence before finding Dom Martrich on a three yard tutty before halftime. The senior signal caller also called his own number seven times to the tune of 77 yards on the ground, picking up some key first downs in the second half as Parkland punched a ticket to the team's sixth district final in the last nine seasons. They lost to Nazareth last year after downing the Patriots back in 2022. This time around, the Trojans get rival Emmaus after the Green Hornets rally past top rank Easton. With Emmaus trailing 7-6 early in the third quarter, senior running back Riley Bechtel ripped off his biggest run of the season. On second down and 13, Bechtel broke a tackle at the line of scrimmage before darting 97 yards to the house, putting Emmaus in front 13-7 en route to a thrilling 20-19 triumph. The senior finished with 156 yards on 17 carries, going over the century mark in rushing for the sixth time this season and second time in the district tournament. Bechtel is now up to 19 rush TDs for the season. The Hornets have won seven straight and are back in the finals for just the third time ever, the first since 2021. The 6A title tilt will take place Friday at Whitehall, while the 4A finale kicks off immediately following sports scene over at Catasauqua's Alumni Field. Top-seeded Southern Lehigh there thanks in large part to Sean Stecker, who's having a playoff for the ages. After four touchdowns in the Spartans' quarterfinal win versus Jim Thorpe, the senior scored six times as part of Southern Lehigh's semifinal triumph over Pottsville. 37 carries for 228 yards and four tutties on the ground, scoring on a pair of one-yard runs to go along with two and ten-yard rumbles. The senior also hauled in three receptions for another 65 yards and two more touchdowns, hauling in 11 and 46 yards scoring strikes. The Spartans, hoping the third time's the charm, they lost in the 5A finale each of the last two seasons. Bethlehem Catholic also making its third straight appearance in a district championship. The Golden Hawks face the Spartans tonight after splitting the last two title tilts with Central Catholic. Becca scored five touchdowns in the semis versus Lee Heighton, with four of those scoring drives starting in enemy territory, meaning that despite compiling just 33 yards on the ground, sophomore Josiah Gregory was able to find the end zone not just once, not just twice, but three times in total. Gregory with a pair of one-yard TD dives, sandwiched around a 16-yard scoring scamper in the second stanza. The Golden Hawks are your defending 4A champs, currently tied with Central for the most football titles in District 11 history with 14. Northwestern Lehigh, meanwhile, has seven, including three straight, after the Tigers took down North Schuylkill last Friday 36-7, a championship tilt that truly was never in doubt. Very first offensive sequence when quarterback Shane Lay takes the sweep 73 yards to the house, the junior's seventh rushing score of the year, and then it was time for senior Eli Zimmerman to take center stage. The dynamic tailback needed just 11 carries to rack up 216 yards on the ground and three scores, finally pay dirt from one. 31 and 73 yards out. Northwestern led 36 nothing before the Spartans ever got on the board. This Tigers defense has only allowed a total of 72 points all season, allowing an average of just six points against per game. 12 and 0 Northwestern, meanwhile, averaging better than 43 points on a per game basis, heading into their state opener Friday opposite District 12 champion Conwell Egan. That's a home game for Northwestern at Tiger Stadium.